Okay, three left. Prism Cello Fat Pack. Number 30, 36. Texans will be random free of the break when the last three teams go. If you want a team, uh-oh, there's Johnny. Johnny for the Vikings. Spectra is full and next. Thank you, Johnny. Good morning, brother. Anything good happening in WWE, Johnny? Or, or at, are they at that period where it's like two weeks after WrestleMania, three weeks, and it's like nothing happens for a while? This is like the cool down phase? I don't even know. I mean, I've seen, I haven't really seen much. I mean, I saw that there, you know, Cody is running around defending the title and stuff like that. And I don't know, Reigns is gone, taking a break. I don't know. Yeah, what's, what's, uh, what's SummerSlam looking like? Who's Cody Rhodes going to fight at Slam? Yeah, they're creating the storylines now, right? Oh my God, Johnny, I have something to talk to you about. Did you see the headlines? I mean, it's not a big deal, but this stuff about R Ronda Rousey writing this book and crying and complaining about her time at WWE. That Roman Reigns and, and Brock and whoever, you know, get their own planes taking them from, from place to place. But she had to, to go with all the other wrestlers on regular flights and stuff. It's like... I mean, she's she's complaining that uh, she had a daughter, that she had a, a baby, that she had to carry around with her. It's like, I gotta be honest, like, I I thought it was silly. They were probably paying her a fortune, and if she didn't get the money she wanted, that's her fault. And she also does have a husband. Why in the world is she traveling around the world to wrestling events with a baby, like? Where's your husband? He's a UFC fighter who, who really isn't fighting. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's, it, it really is the most, it's the silliest comment ever. You know? Like, Brock Lesnar is one of the biggest names, period. Like, Roman Reigns is one of the longest reigning defending champions ever. Well, not right now, now it's done, but you know what I mean? She's comparing themselves to them. Like, great, you were a great UFC fighter. You're probably the greatest female UFC fighter ever, but you sucked in WWE. Like, people aren't responding to you. No, you're not going to get your own private jet. It's like, it's terrifying. Yes, Brock puts the asses in the seats. They treat him special. Roman Reigns puts asses in the seat. They treat him different. Like, Ronda Rousey, you're not really putting the asses in the seats. People don't come to see you. I, do you think I'm wrong, Johnny? Johnny, you're, I mean, your name's WWE. Obviously, you love this shit. I got gotcha. you. Okay. You think so? Well, because you would know. I mean, I, I haven't been... I used to follow wrestling like freaking crazy. Let's see if the last two are there. Yeah, the last two are there. Johnny, let me get... Johnny, did you send for the first one yet? Cause so I could give you a kill price. Yeah, uh, you did send for the first one. All right, so let me give you a kill price for these two, Johnny. Fifty-four, Johnny, on the fill. Fifty-four to fill the last two. Let me keep opening. 
Spectra is full, and next it's going to be great. We love fresh cases for Spectra. I don't know. I'm, I'm so, I went off on that a little bit because I remember reading, like, it, it happened like a couple days ago. I read about this, and I saw the quotes from the book, and I'm like, damn. This girl really just doesn't, she doesn't really understand, like, which is weird. Because normally women, like people in their spot, have at least an understanding of, of the business and stuff. She clearly doesn't. It's either that or she just doesn't care. I don't know. But, uh... I don't know. Johnny, did you love Mania? All of you guys, did you like Mania? Yeah, I, I, okay, I, I totally agree with that. Pretty good. That's, like, not, it was great, I loved it, it was awesome. Nah, it was pretty good. Just pretty good. Okay, let's 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 run this out. Now we got to do Johnny sent. I'm sure for those two. So let's run our filler. Here we go. Filler for Houston. Good luck. Dice. Six, one, this is 31 teams, two, three, four, five, and six. The Bengals, I think that's Rhino. Is that Rhino? It is. Six dice, six randoms, Rhino and the Bengals hit the top. Here you go, Dominique. Okay, Spectra next. Fresh case Spectra. Thurman Thomas, Debo, AR-15, Paris. Sean Clifford. Next silver is Tyree Wilson Raiders. Is today going to be a Raiders day? Hurts. Color match. Trey Tucker. Raiders. Skronsky. Kenny Skywalker. Second year silver. Kelsey. Dalton Kincaid, 
Holy crap. You know what's funny? I was thinking this card was coming. I don't know why. I just thought a true silver of B. John Robinson was coming. I have no idea. I thought it like before the break. Because I was when I was saying like the Falcons and Ravens are still on the board, I was literally about to say, I got a feeling a B. John Robinson true silver is coming. But then I thought to myself, what if you have the wrong instinct? You know, and somebody bought him and, you know, is annoyed. So I didn't say anything. But there it is for Troy. True rookie silver of the eighth overall pick, B. John Robinson. Gibbers. Uh, today's going to be a good day. We're going to see some big cards today. I think we can feel that. Xavier McKinney, 2020 rookie out of Bama. Brock Purdy. The Deuce. Van De Swan. Brents. Emmanuel Wilson. Fine wine. Pittman Silver. CRJ. Cole Komet. Cole Komet's going to be a big part of Caleb Williams' success. Or failure. Who knows? We'll find out. Pitts. Bryce Young. Green fireworks for Troy. Hainer. I'm telling you, it's the weirdest thing with this product. It seems to always work out that way. People who buy a lot of teams and then miss the Texans and the filler, their teams wind up hitting. Hey, look at who it is. Good morning, Captain America. How are uh, Captain America? How are you? Steve Evans. It's good to see you, my friend. Mr. 2178. It was funny, I was talking about that. I'm all excited for it. You guys know I'm a Marvel fan. I'm a, I'm a Marvel Cinematic Universe, or I was a Marvel Cinematic uni Universe fan until the end of Endgame. But uh, Chris Evans coming back as Captain America for a limited series on, on Disney is really, really cool. I'm really excited for that. It's so smart on Disney's part to pull that off. Did you guys know that? I think it's official. Chris Evans is coming back to the MCU uh, as Captain America to do a Disney series about him returning the Infinity Stones at the end of Endgame. It's gonna be a, I think it's gonna be a six-part limited series. I'm, I'm so, I'm so psyched for that. He was my, him and and Robert Downey Jr. are absolutely my favorites. Waddle Silver, Tank Green. Tyree. Anybody else? Does anybody else like Marvel? Anybody else care about that? Or am I alone? Cedric Tillman. Steve, we're doing Spectra immediately next. It's full. Spectra number 111 is full. We're doing it next. We're running Immaculate. Pick your team number four. We're going to run Obsidian. We're running a Bowman... Uh, Chrome University Delight College random team random college for a, for a four box we're doing illusions and limited Antoine Harrison Jalen Hyatt Johnny you you're you're a Marvel fan too I I gotta figure I gotta figure everybody that that that's a wrestling fan is a Marvel fan too I feel like it goes hand in hand kind of a thing. You know, like, like, you know, like the bathroom and a cup of coffee goes hand in hand. Johnny, we, we, do we think the same in terms of, uh, Marvel? I mean, don't get me wrong. I love Hemsworth. I mean, but some of the movies have been really bad and that's part of my problem with the Hemsworth thing. Um, 
Damn right. But here's the thing, Steve. Robert Downey Jr. was always a phenomenal actor. Phenomenal. So, you know, as long as Hollywood or someone gives you the opportunity when you're that talented and you just don't keep screw, you don't screw it up. You only screw it up 10 times and not 50. You know, he was, listen, I've been a fan of Robert Downey Jr. since uh, Chaplin. Since he was nominated for Best Actor for Chaplin. I mean, before that, obviously. I loved him in Johnny B. Good, Weird Science. Robert Downey, but, but I mean, less than zero. Guys, if any of you haven't ever seen the 80s movie, Less Than Zero, with Andrew McCarthy, Gertz, was her, Jamie Gertz was her name, and Robert Downey Jr., Guys, this is not your normal 80s teen movie. This movie will knock your socks off. It's about addiction. It's about being overprivileged. And what that does to you with addiction, it's, it, it, it breaks, he breaks your heart. Robert Downey Jr. breaks your heart in that movie, Less Than Zero. I believe it was from the same author as the movie, uh, the book American Psycho. Pretty sure. Um, go watch these. You want to see how good of an actor Robert Downey Jr. is? Go watch them. The dude can act his ass off. He's not just Iron Man. Um. No, 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 no. Eric, we're about to do Spectra. We're just doing this first because it, it, it wasn't all paid. It, it was, Cap, 100%. Do you remember, Cap, when when things were at its lowest? I believe he had just been fired from the TV show Ally McBeal, and his dad put out, like, this video to the country or to the world, literally saying, please forgive my son for his addictions and his problems. They're not his fault. It's my fault. I was the one who put alcohol and a joint in his hand before he was 10 years old and he knew, and and he knows no he knows nothing else it's not him i you want to talk about heartbreaking shit wow i remember that like it was yesterday which is crazy because it was a million years ago i was still a kid yeah Poor guy. I mean, hate to say poor guy, but I mean, if you heard his story, guys, I know a lot of you would, you know, like, oh, he's worth a bajillion dollars. He made $500 billion off of Marvel. You know, he's one of the biggest stars in the world. He's got a great this and that and the other. I'm telling you, go look at what his life used to be. Go look at what his life used to be. This dude has been through some stuff. It's not a joke. His parents, his his family life as a kid was a disaster. Bingo for Troy. True rookie silver of the 2023 number one pick of the NFL draft out of Alabama. Bryce Young True. That's sick. Eric Gray. Let's football. I don't know what that is. I'll find out though. Oh. Guys, does anybody, I'm sorry to get back on topic of sports cards. Does anybody know the product Leaf Vivid? Because I know Leaf, I just don't know all of their products. Because they're unlicensed, we don't normally break a lot of it. Quinn and Williams Silver. Aaron Rodgers Green. Drake. Does anybody know Leaf Vivid? Has anybody broken that before in the past? 
Apparently it releases Friday and we're getting a bunch of it. Sean Clifford Green. Stroud Green Prismatic. Stetson. Anytime touchdown, Brian. Silver of Cortland Sutton. Jaden Reed, true silver. J Mac, good card. I think he's a stud. Foskey. Godwin. Gibbers. Jack Campbell. Stroud. Send the Burrow base. Kirby Joseph. Jalen Carter color match for Scotty Henderson. Another Trey Tucker. It's a Raiders day so far. Travis Kelsey, true silver. The deuce is loose. A second Gibbers for Troy and Detroit. Jamar Chase. Double H, Cooks. Tua. Quentin, wow, the true silvers have been amazing in this break. Troy, Quentin Johnston. True silvers have been amazing. Already, and we're a little over halfway, we have a Bijan true silver, Bryce Young true silver, and a Johnston. Nice true silvers. Malik. Paris. Pacheco. Aiden O'Connell. Dawson Knox. Miles Murphy. A little 40 second case up. Spectra will be the next break, boys. Here we go. Ivan Drago. A lot of silvers. This has been good. Najee. DTR. Turk. M&M, Trevor Lawrence, fine wine green, Israel, there's another Stroud, hi Doom, it's good Judson, Olave, Lucas Van Ness, there's a Mahomes for WWE Johnny.
The deuce. Patty again. Two patties. Two patties, extra cheese. Hold the mayo. Chewed on. Burrow. Silver of Scantling, Jonathan Mingo. Logan Wilson Silver, Deontay Banks for the Giants, Hayner, Dalton Kincaid, True Silvers have been have knocked this break out of the park. Amazing Silvers, Dontavian, Gibbers, Silver of Taysom Hill and Ocho Cinco. All right, this is the end of it. This is the end of it, and then we'll go right into Spectra. Kenny Skywalker. Jack Smith Jigba for Troy. I think, Troy, I know I know you always get pissed off about not hitting the Texans, but I think you literally hit good for every team you bought. Seattle, Giants, Chargers, Lions, I think you hit good for all of them. Panthers, Bills, and Falcons. You hit good for every single team you bought. That's crazy. It's good. It's great. It's good news. Daniil Hunter. Christian Gonzalez. Tank. Silver of Singleton. DK. Stroud. All right, a little Stroud color. That's the second insert green prism. Zach Harrison, Jimmy Cook, and Kadarius Tony. We'll round out the break. Let's recap. Very good. Really nice break. There's another one of these in the store. I'm telling you. You buy this, you hit the cards, you hold them. You sell them when we get around to the preseason or when the season starts. Really good. Really good. This was really good. Mahomes, Mingo, Clifford, Jalen Carter on the color matches. Gibbs, Jigba, Jaden Reed, Silver, another, Rock, Tank, Patty, Stroud, Bryce Young, Kincaid, Silver, Stroud, 
Quentin Johnston Silver, Bijan Robinson Silver, Bryce Young Silver. Fantastic. Nice job. Nice break.